Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics. I wanted to address what I think is a fish keeping myth, kind of. And that is fish only grow to the size of their aquarium. That may be true, it may not be true, but I want to illustrate that here with a really good point. I think it, it couldn't have worked out any better. So we're breaking down Joanna's Nano Nook and I'm looking at these two aquariums. This happens to be a bookshelf tank. It's a nine gallon long, so it's about 34 inches long or so and maybe 10 11 inches tall and probably about maybe eight inches wide this tank up here i know you can't completely see it but it's a six gallon bookshelf tank and so it's about 30 inches long but it's much more narrow it's only about five inches wide and maybe about six or seven inches tall What's interesting about this particular setup is I put geophagus in both of these aquariums just for quarantine, very short period of time. We bring them in, we quarantine them for four weeks, and then we move them out. Well, these particular fish have been in these aquariums longer than four weeks. They've been in here about eight weeks, and it was about time to move them to another aquarium anyway. But here's what I thought was so interesting. Both of, the, both of these geophagus went in at the exact same time. They were about the same size when we got them. Well, at this point, it's probably been about 10 weeks. The fish at the top are smaller than the fish at the bottom. There are 10, and this just happened to work out this way, there's 10 geophagus in each aquarium, so pretty much everything is about equal. There's a couple other white clouds in here, and I think maybe in here there might be one or two other fish as well. But the point is, in both of these, both of these aquariums, same number of fish, same type of fish, introduced at the same time, fed the exact same food because when I feed this tank, I feed the one at the top. So all, everything is the same. The only thing that is different is the size of the aquarium. Now it's gonna be impossible for me to show you this tank and then this tank and be like, oh, oh, I'm not quite sure which one's larger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move all of these fish out and I'm gonna put them in a 40 breeder, which is where I want them anyway. And you're gonna see that there are 10 fish that are a lot smaller than the other 10 fish. Now, what I wanna say about that is when it comes to the size of an aquarium and do fish grow to the size of the tank? Yes and no. Yes, in the sense that you can slow their growth if you leave fish in an aquarium that is too small. That's kind of what's happened here, although we didn't leave them in too long. They're moving anyway, but you can see there is a difference in the growth rate. So fish can grow to the size of their aquarium in the sense that they might grow a little bit slower. However, Fish can and do outgrow their aquariums. Take a look at this Oscar. This is a great example, both the Oscar and this Nile tilapia. The Nile tilapia started out in an aquarium that was right around 10 gallons. They were a, the fish was with a larger group. They were only about an inch or so. Within about four weeks, they had grown to over three inches in a 10 gallon aquarium and there was no stopping them. I put them in the 125, or I put one of them in a 125, and he is an 18 and a half inch fish. He's very large. That fish would have absolutely outgrown the 10 gallon, would have outgrown a 20, would have outgrown a 40, and a four foot tank as well. So while the fish might have grown slower if I kept them in a smaller aquarium longer, eventually they would have gotten far too large for the aquarium. Same thing with the Oscar. The Oscar originally was in with two other Oscars in a 55 gallon. They were only about two and a half to three inches when I first put them in. After just a few months, they were already approaching six inches and it was clear I needed to move them out. Thus, they wound up in a 125 as well. And so the moral of the story is when you are thinking about stocking your fish, make sure you have the aquarium that you're gonna have them in long term because you can slow their growth. And yes, in some cases, a fish can just flat out outgrow a tank. All right, so now we got these geophagus in this 40 gallon breeder and I think it'd be a little bit easier to see the differences in size. All the larger geophagus that we have, let me zoom in a little bit. All these larger geophagus that we have in this new grow out tank, those were the ones from the nine gallon long. The smaller ones are from the six gallon long. And so you can see there is a size discrepancy. It's not major, but there is definitely a size difference between the smaller fish and the larger fish. Just really do, again, to that tank size. Now, will they all pretty much catch up with one another in the next four to six weeks if they're still here? Absolutely, they most definitely will. But again, the main point here is we wanna keep our fish in an appropriately sized tank, ideally from the beginning, so that we don't slow their growth. And eventually, yes, fish can outgrow their aquariums. Thanks so much for being here and we'll see you in the next one.